Okay, Tom, are you ready to help me? We're going to investigate the My Real Jam uh -oh. DJ Mixer. So, let's put this up here. Mommy's already turned it on. You want to reach down and find the button? Oh, what was that? You want to find another button? Now, this part, Tommy doesn't have the turning to do, but this turns, and it does like the scratch noise. It does have lights that come on. And then there's controls here. The jack for the headphones is there. There's a Bluetooth, and then the volume. And I tried the Bluetooth, it was really easy to hook it up, but it comes very, very softly out of this speaker. And Tommy doesn't like headphones. So we decided not to use that right now. Oh, okay, let's try another one. Okay, you wanna try a different button? These are really easy to push. Ooh, and this one does longer. What do you think? Really, if you've got somebody who's into hip hop or some rock and roll, this is um, not a very childlike sound. It is, it is something that seems more teen, even though it is a, a little tykes. You could easily use this with someone who is older. Are you gonna do it again? Oh, what did you do? I have a feeling I'm gonna hear that part a lot. Oh, we like loud, obnoxious sounds. So if you're gonna use the Bluetooth and have a song play through it, because I did put a song through and it was pretty easy. It, it took me maybe two minutes to do it um, from my phone. But the volume on this speaker with the Bluetooth song was really very low compared to the other sounds. Um, so you would really want headphones on in order to hear the song. And the buttons actually do go for a good bit of time after they're pushed. But you can control the length a little bit here. And then... This one. Oh, okay. There we go. Woo! What are you doing, Tom? You gonna push the buttons again? And it is small. Um, it's like about an inch to almost two inches in height so it would be really easy to clamp down the bottom um there's your battery case with um the screw that needs a phillip head screwdriver if you need to protect batteries from someone getting them out but you could easily put velcro on the little bumpers um to be able to stick it to a surface on velcro or if you're using dysum or rug lock these little bumpers that stick out are going to help it stay in place. And it's not extremely light. Um, it's got some weight to it, so once you put it down somewhere, it's going to stay. Certainly, if you have someone who likes to toss things, I would definitely bracket it down. We just opened it, so I have no idea about the bounce back ability. And right now, we're not going to throw it on the floor to find out. But most of the little tykes things are pretty durable. You gonna do one more, Tom? Can you push this one? Oh. There we go, thank you. So, my real jam, DJ Mixer. In the neighborhood of 30 to $35, depending on where you're shopping.